What's up, everybody? It's so good to see you yet again in your news feed. My name is Pastor Elliot, for those of you who don't know me, from Lifeline Church, and I have a midweek motivation for you. And I hope that you are receiving this if you need it. This season, man, now that we're starting the Christmas season, I know that not everything is all well and wonderful all the time. I hope it is for you. I really do. But if it's not, I've got something that in fact, I read this in my study this morning in my just my normal Bible, Bible reading time, and I think it's gonna make a difference for you. And I wanna share with you just kind of what I took out of it and was receiving for myself, and I hope it speaks to you. It's out of Ezekiel 37, and the title is The Valley of Dry Bones. And some of us might be feeling just that way. Man, I'm feeling like my life is dry bones right now. It's all dead, it's not coming back to life in this season, 2020, and everything else going on in my life, I feel like not only am I a pile of dry bones, but my life is a valley of dry bones. But God has something to say to you if that's how you feel. God has something to say to you if that's how you feel. So let's read in Ezekiel 37, it goes like this. The Lord took hold of me, he's talking to Ezekiel. The Lord took hold of me and I was carried away by the Spirit of the Lord to a valley filled with dry bones. That's us, right? Man, I feel so dry, I feel so empty. Valley of dry bones. He led me around among all the bones that covered the valley floor. They were scattered everywhere across the ground and were completely dried out. And that's how we feel too, completely dried out. Then he asked me, son of man, can these bones become living people again? Now listen to this answer. This is the most spiritual answer I've ever heard. It's, he said, oh, sovereign Lord, I replied, you alone know the answer to that, AKA, I have no idea. <laughs> if you ever don't know the answer to a question, it's okay. Prophets in the Bible didn't know the answer either. That may sound really holy, but that's just another way of saying, Lord, I got no clue. I don't know what you can do with these bones or not. I, I mean, I think you do, but you can, but maybe you can't. I don't know. That's what the prophet here, this man of God is basically saying, I don't know. If you don't know, if you're feeling uncertain right now, this is what I want to tell you. And this is what I believe the word of the Lord is speaking to you right now is it's okay. The Lord will reveal, but also notice in his answer, he said, God, not only do I not know, what I'm saying to you, God, is I know you know. You know what you're doing, God. And I trust that. Now that answer is a good one. That answer is a good one. Lord, I, I don't know what you can do with this valley of dry bones, but you alone know the answer. You, you know what you can do. And then he goes on to say this. He said to me, God speaking to Ezekiel, speak a prophetic message to these dry bones and say, dry bones, Listen to the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Look, I'm gonna put breath in you and make you live again. Oh, come on, this is good for somebody. I will put flesh and muscles on you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. You wanna know what I think? You wanna know what I get out of this? is that even though you might be feeling like a pile of dry bones right now, and the Christmas music has started, the lights are up, and everyone's looking good on social media, and it looks a lot better than the way you feel, well, check this out. God wants to breathe life into those dry bones. He not only wants to breathe breath into you, breathe new life into you. He wants to patch up your skin. He wants to put those dry bones back together and make you worthwhile again, at least feel worthwhile again. No, not just feel. What am I thinking? He is going to make you worthwhile again, make you see how worthwhile you really are. Not the fact that there was not just breath in the bones that he, he put up. He didn't just put life in them. He actually made them function again. He made them function again. And I, I hope that's for you too, that if you're feeling like, man, I, I just don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel so aimless right now. Everything that I've known in life seems to be falling apart. 2020 has done that to a lot of us. 
where we feel like, I don't know what direction I'm going. I don't know where I should be. I don't know if I'm in the right spot anymore. I look around at the people around me and they seem okay, but I don't feel okay. Listen, God wants to do an amazing work in your life. But how about we just start with this, with this statement right here. God, you alone know the answer. Let's press into him this season. Okay, everybody? Let's do that. If you need motivation, don't look to me to get it. Look to the Lord to get it. Get back into Bible reading. Get back into prayer. Or if you've never tried it, try it. Try it. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is faithful and just to cleanse us of all the unrighteousness, everything that we're feeling that doesn't belong there. He's not just nice and kind. He's not just, a, he's like polite. No, he's faithful. He's just. God said he would, so he will. You know, it's not nice to do what you said you'd do. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's telling the truth and he tells the truth. He said he is gonna restore us. He said he is gonna put breath into us and replace our heart of stone with a heart of flesh that feels again. Let the Lord do his thing. Let the Lord be the Lord in your life. And I know that sounds funny. Maybe some of you are, are Christians already. Some of you might be on the, on the fence about that. But this, this goes for everyone. This statement goes for everyone. Let the Lord be the Lord in your life. And you might just find that what has been missing all along is Him sitting on the throne of your heart and not your own desires and not your own thoughts or ambitions. Hey, it's okay to have ambition. I'm an ambitious guy too. I just want to submit those things to Him. Put Jesus at the throne of your heart and see that fresh breath, fresh air doesn't get restored to that valley of dry bones if that's the way you're feeling. I hope this motivated you. I hope this encouraged you. Let me pray over you before we part ways here. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray over every single person listening to the sound of my voice that they would be encouraged, they would be motivated to get back in their word, to start reading the word, to get back into prayer or start an honest prayer, any prayer, Lord. Encourage the people to just cry out anything. God, speak to me. If you're real, please. That was my first prayer. God, you know this about me. My first prayer to you was, if you're real, and you showed up. I pray that over every single person listening today, that they would take a step in faith, even as small as a mustard seed. And I pray encouragement over every single person. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. God bless you. And we'll see you again really soon.